What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're showing you another one of our fun games. So we're with Holly. Yes, otherwise known as Mom. Yes. Today we are showing you one of our favorite family summer games. Actually, we play it year round. Yeah. Um, it's typically a betting game. And we, we like to play it at parties. Yes. Like we were at an Irish party and they were betting with ones. So it is, it's a gambling game, but you do not have to gamble with real money. And it will get very, very expensive if you do gambling with real money, such as ones. But you could do anything from dimes to nickels to pennies. But if you're just playing with the family, what you can do is just use chips. So if you have a set of chips, this is what we do. We do the fake money. So this game is called Derby Dash Horse Race. And it's really fun. Actually, Sawyer was the first one to introduce the family to it. So he is going to help me explain how to play it. All right, guys, before we get started, I would like you to like this video, subscribe, hit that bell in the corner so you can see more fun videos like this. And don't forget to subscribe to his channel. And I don't, don't know why forget he's using to the... subscribe to my channel, Junior, <laughs> Junior Gizmo. Gizmo. Junior Gizmo. We'll put the link up in the corner so you can get right to his channel and like it. I just don't know why he was using the announcer voice. <laughs> hey, guys, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> Okay, so this is Derby Dash. We ordered it off Amazon. We'll put the link in the description below. If you want to order one, we actually tried to make one ourselves, which worked, but this is just a little cleaner, a little um, nicer. Um, so we'll put a link in the description below. It is a horse race game. It's very easy. You can play with two players all the way up to 11 or 12 players. What it comes with is... A pair of dice. <laughs> the... 11 horses. 11 horses. Now these are little plastic Ooh, ah. horses um, with the version we have. Um, be careful with them. You don't want them to break. I wish that they were wood, but they're not. And the wood board. Um, oh, and it also comes with a whiteboard. And this is a different way of betting and gambling with it. But we are not going to do that one today because we just play the right way. We well, just play, we the, just play the, other the regular way. way. Okay, so here is how you start the game. Now, the point of the game is you want your horse to win. It's a horse betting game. Now, we have chips, so we each have our money. He brought ones just to look flashy to show you that you can pay with ones. It's kind of it's like kind of like um if you go to a horse race, everybody's like, "Hundred on that horse." Right. It's kind of, it's, just, it's like exactly like that, but it's not real horses. But you're you're losing a lot of money with this one. Um, so we watched some friends play, and they lost eighty bucks within like a half hour. So it could get expensive. So here is how you start the game. You line up all of your horses right here. They go right with their stall. I would say there's eleven horses, two through twelve. Line them up at the starting gate, and then you're gonna need a deck of cards. That is what you're gonna need to add to this game. You have a deck of cards. Remove the king the aces. aces and the jokers. You do not want those. Everything else you need in the stack. Then what you're gonna do is you're going to shuffle the cards, which we already did. And then yes. what are we gonna do? And then we're gonna give four to each player. These represent the horses that you want to win. Okay, so, so we have I want to win the number two. The queen, the which, queen is a 12. The queen is a 12. And? And then the jack is 11, 11. And then 10 is 10. Yes. And then I got a 5 and a 7. I have 7 a is most popular. It, you, you really don't want it to get out first. But yeah, we'll, we'll tell them that in a second. So this, all these have little dots on it, like little holes where the horses jump and it goes by odds of how often you're going to roll that number. The horses I'm rooting for is 9, 7, jack, and, well, Jack is, like we said, 11 and 4. So what we're going to do is we're going to set these in front of ourselves. And then we are going to, right at the beginning of the game, we're going to remove four horses. Automatically. And the way you do that is anybody. It doesn't matter who's first, guys. Just pick somebody to pick up the dice and roll the dice. When you roll the dice, I rolled a 2. Uh, <laughs> hey, guys. On. Okay, so this 2 is out already. So if you had a 2, such as he does... You would pay one dollar or one chip or whatever you're playing with. Right, so into the pot. Put one into the pot, and then every time during the game that you would roll a two, you would have to pay one dollar. Like, that's the first one out to one dollar, yeah. Okay, so the second one, go ahead and roll. We'll get the second horse out. The second horse eight. is an eight. That is not a good one to have out because eights are rolled all the time. But does we have an eight? No. Neither one of us have an eight, so we're going to go ahead and put that down there. The third horse to be removed is an eight. We're going to roll again, and now we have a six. 
The six. Hey, neither one of us have a six. Fantastic. One thing and I do got to say is six, seven, and eight are the most popular ones that were rolled. So there's, there's eight. our eight. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was about to say seven. Six. Six. Seven. seven. Told okay. you guys. So the now, seven is out. Now I... this is going to be like a dangerous round here, guys, because seven is rolled all the time. Okay, so the seven, here's the thing. Now the two represents one coin or one chip. Eight is two chips. Six is three chips and the seven is four chips. That's going to be how you remove them from the game and that's how you decide who gets what. So I had a seven, so I have to pay four chips or four dollars and I'm gonna put that in the pot. Now, now those are removed for the entire game. Now here's how you start. Person goes first. We're gonna let him go first. He's gonna roll the dice. He rolled a six. Now the pay six three. has been removed, which means he, because he's the roller, will pay three chips. And now it's my turn. I rolled a nine. Now the nine is still in there, so I'm gonna move the nine horse up one notch. And that's, it's super easy, guys. And then I rolled a, a six. six again. <laughs> so, so he's gonna pay how, three. This is how you lose your money quickly. Yeah, so it all goes it in the It just keeps going in there. And I'm gonna roll a six. A six. So I'm gonna three. pay three. Now, six. <laughs> We're just gonna pay sixes all the time, okay. And an eight, um, which eight is pay two. two. So I'm gonna put two in the pot. Okay. So basically eight. the name of the game is, so we probably put two, but like we're not gonna play this whole game no. out cause it'll take pretty long. It'll take like maybe 20, 10, 15 minutes per it game. It can take anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes depending on how many players you have and how quickly the horses get to the finish line. So let's say I have rolled a nine this many times. The first horse, so these will all move. As you keep rolling, people will keep adding to the pot. Then as soon as one hit, one horse hits the finish line, that is the winner. So let's say the nine hit first. I actually have a nine, look at that. <laughs> Like so she game. would win the whole pot of money or the whole pot of chips. Yes. And she'll get to take that with her. If you're playing with multiple people, there is a good chance that many people have, not many, but up to four, people yeah. could have the same winning horse. So if somebody else has the nine, you split the pot with them. If th two other people, you split it three ways. Um, and so One I'm thing I do got to say is if, for example, if she had both sevens, she had, she had two sevens or three sevens, then she would get three fourths of the pot if she had three. She and somebody get... else had one. So if I yeah. had one, and if I had one seven and seven was the winner, and he had two, we would split it three ways. I would get one third, he would get two thirds. And yes. that's it, guys. It's so easy. It's so fun because people are kind of betting for their or cheering for their horse to get to the finish line. A lot of chips, a lot of money are going into the a pot. A lot of arguing too. Well, just because you want it's 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 typical, you know, cheering, betting game. But like I said, definitely if you're playing with a family, play with chips or pennies. Um, dollars get too expensive too quickly. Those are really for like older adults and when they're playing at a party. Or like when like we were at a party, mm -hmm. there was people, there was this one dude. He probably spent a hundred bucks. He's just like, yeah. can you just give me 20 in ones? But that's their party I'll game. I'll Venmo you later. Right. I'm like, yeah, they love it. So that's it guys, it's super easy and then you would go ahead and reset all the horses as soon as somebody wins, reset everything, put the horses that were um, disqualified I guess, reset the whole thing, shuffle the cards and start another round. Play as many rounds as you want. We typically kind of stick to four rounds depending on how yeah. fast it goes. But it's a really fun game and it, a lot of players or a few players can play so you're not kind of restricted by that. So big families, little families, I love it. So it is called Derby Dash. Again, we're gonna put a link in the description below of if you wanna order one of these off Amazon. And that's it. Yeah. We wanted to just show you one of our favorite games in case you're looking for one. And that's it guys, thanks so much for watching. Oh hey, if you want another game, Sawyer showed you how to play Mahjong over on his channel. I will put that up in the corner so you can go check out. That is a little bit more complicated of a game, but so fun. But that that's also another gambling game. Like, well, no, well, no, we don't. They, you're not gambling. We've never gambled with money. Well, so no, much. we haven't gambled with money then. But like, I guess well, you like could. people in casinos, 
gamble with money on that. Yeah. But then, but then we don't play like that. Right. So Mahjong, if you want to go hop over to his channel, I'll also put that link in the description below to find out how to play Mahjong, which is another one of our favorite games. That's it, guys. I hope everybody is well and safe. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up. And we will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe to Junior Gizmo over here. <laughs> so that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. See you guys.